Hello campers and welcome to the first ever adventure with Redstone with the Redstone Camper. Today's tutorial and showcase is about a redstone countdown timer that I built myself and this is the final product. So essentially what it is is a timer. So you start the timer and then after a certain amount of times you can stop the timer via a way of using tripwire or pressure plates or any other redstone signal. The purpose of this was when I was watching Rage Gaming's videos, it was designed as a way so he could time his uh, building challenges. So essentially how it works is if I were to walk up to this, press the button, to, it sets my level to 10 and then starts decrementing it down towards 0. Now once it hits 0, I get sent to the tripwire which stops the, time, uh, stops the counter. So by doing that, it allows you to have uh, any length of time, so I could walk over to this command block, change it from 10 to say 60 for 60 seconds, 600 for 10 minutes. So, as you can see, this device uses command blocks. These feature new to 1.4. Each of these command blocks has uh, separate commands in order to affect what your levels are. So, in order for this to work, I'll explain it as it goes. So, once you press this button, it activates this redstone. So the redstone immediately subtracts the maximum amount of levels you can have. So this works for all players on a server, not just within radius of this timer, for obvious reasons. After one tick, so make sure that this, this next command block runs after the first one, it then goes and puts 10 levels to every player which has no levels. This is your initial starting time, you could change that to 60 or etc. The redstone then travels across up here, turning off this torch. Torch then turns off the redstone underneath it, which then allows the torch underneath to turn on, which then keeps it as a constant cycle, so it's locked on. This is what's known as an RS NOR latch. So, when this power is off, it allows this clock to run. So the clock runs at uh, one second intervals. So every second, this command block is fired. This first command block takes away your level from all players around and then after one tick it then checks to see if anybody's got no levels and then teleports them to essentially the finish line. So once the clock is finished, so uh, once this block's powered, the block powers here and goes to continue the clock. So it has a total of one red, uh, one torch and then four ticks on the repeaters. So that's essentially the clock. So you've already seen it in action. What you can do to further add to it, so everything that's in red shown in front, that's the stuff you require. So that's the main circuit. And then the stuff in green are your additions. So the first addition over here, so this addition is essentially a 3, 2, 1, go. So reminiscent of the good old Mario Kart days. So there goes the timer, so you get the level starting noise, which is the side effect of this, and then it counts down to zero, and then drops you to the, this tripwire. Now you can use a pressure plate, however I find the tripwire is more efficient, because if the person's flying, it will still set off the tripwire, whereas if it was a pressure plate, it wouldn't be set off by somebody who was flying. So the redstone just comes down here and powers the block under here, turning the torch off, which then turns that off, which turns that on allowing it to stay off. Now you can also be harsh to the people who finish the 10 second interval. You can even add in a lava pit. So there's a lava pit down there. So this actually works if I went and hit on the start button. Counts down. And I'd be burning alive. So you can have it so that they can fall into their depth and demise, that's up to you. But until such time as that tripwire is fired, um, this clock will continuously teleport anybody who's at level zero. So essentially it's just designed so that somebody eventually sets this off. So to build the smallest version that I've come up with, you start off with your 4x4 four four zone, put in three blocks, put in another block over here, another block here, and then finally we'll have a block there. So there are all the wooden blocks that you need to place for this. So we're going to put a torch in, 
and then the torch, and then the two, the three bits of redstone we have here. That's our RS small latch. So we're going to put in a button and a button. So this is our on, and that will be our off. So as you can see, it swaps between the two. We'll then extend this redstone signal out, put a repeater to feed it into this block. Put on a torch, then increase the delay to the first command block. Put in a couple of bits of redstone, and now we're going to place in our command block. So we've got one up there, one there, delete the block underneath, one block there, and one block there. So for this block, we're going to take away a level from all players. For this one here, we're going to give the amount of levels which you want your delay to run for. So for this one, we're going to say that we want 10 seconds. And then for this one, you want to say, take away your maximum level. So that's nine zeros, uh, sorry, nine nines. There we go, that should do the trick. And I'm going to take that away from more players. So this one gives the 10 levels, that one takes the 10 levels. Then this one here teleports you on when you've got no levels. So what you need to start off with is TP at A, all people with level 0. And you'll want to teleport them to a coordinate. So for the coordinate, we'll get to that in a moment. We need a one tick delay repeater here to make sure that instruction runs before the second one. Then for the last part of the, seat, the timer, you want a pressure plate. Now standing on the pressure plate, open up your debug window by pressing F3. So you've got your numbers in the top right corner. Then see if you can get the fire away command block and type in the numbers. So in my block I have 1037, I have 58, and 165. Take away the debug window. Now that's finished. So all you can do to test it is press the button. It should give you 10 levels. As you can see at the back here, it's timing away. 4, 3, 2, 1. Boom. And I get teleported onto the pressure plate, which then kills the timer. And then that's the circuit done. So there you go. That's a 4x4x3 four by four by redstone countdown timer. Built by MindMadness45, also known as the Redstone Camper. So I hope this circuit comes to use to you at some point in the near future, thanks to the 1.4 command blocks. So until next time, have fun campers, stick around, there will be more Redstone videos to come.